According to internal documents, emails from the Secret Service that uh, the group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, CREW, has gotten a hold of and published this week, it turns out that the Secret Service had explicit knowledge of threats against House Speaker Nancy Pelosi before the January 6th Capitol riot, but they did not inform her of these threats against her life until five hours after the riot began. So five hours after the very first people breached those barricades, the secret service decided to be like, Oh, uh, by the way, Nancy totally slipped our mind. Uh, they want to kill you and they, they could be armed. They said in their posts that they're going to be armed. So yeah, just you watch your back a little bit. Okay. Thanks. Bye. The emails also reveal that they also had credible threats against then vice president, Mike Pence. And they also did not warn Mike Pence. And this is the agency that has a duty to protect him. You know, Nancy Pelosi, as far as I know, doesn't have secret service protection, but Mike Pence definitely did. Maybe Pelosi did. I don't know if she did. That makes it 10 times worse, but with Pence, they're supposed to protect him and they didn't even let him know. Maybe didn't even let the officers assigned to him know that there were credible threats against his life. And this is all detailed in those emails that crew published this week. This is real. This is what they did. They had all of these threats and they dismissed every single one of them. And the threats against Pelosi, by the way, they were made aware of them from a post on parlor on January 4th, two days before the riot. And they told her about it five hours after the riot had started. Similar to the Mike Pence situation. Those threats were coming in days before the riot actually happened and they didn't care. The entire secret service is corrupt. It's kind of like when we talk about, you know, police officers here in the United States. Oh, maybe there's a few bad apples. People say, no, maybe there's a few good apples, but the entire rest of the bunch is rotten to the core. And that I believe at this point, after seeing this information, watching what happened with the January six hearings, I'm fairly confident enough to say that the entire secret service is corrupt at this point. Maybe there's a couple good ones still out there, but I can't even say that with any certainty. And here's the thing. Now that we know what was in their internal documents, now that we have the emails, now that they have been exposed, it suddenly makes a hell of a lot more sense as to why they deleted all those text messages from January 6th, right? Because they knew what was going to happen. They were part of a consortium of other law enforcement agencies. The secret service was including the FBI, the Capitol police and the Metro police. All of them were on a conference call. All of them we're on these emails. They all knew about the threats. Here are, by the way, some of the threats. Biden will die shortly after being elected. Patriots are going to tear his head off. Prison is his best case scenario. Another one said, we're all on a mission to save America. Lone wolf attacks are the way to go. Stay anonymous, stay alive. Guns up, Patriots. Guns up, Patriots. And the secret service said, whatever, even if they didn't think these threats were credible, the moment those barricades at the Capitol were breached, that's when it all became real. So even if they had waited till that point to warn, warn all these lawmakers, like, oh crap, Hey guys, they're coming after you. We've seen the post. We didn't think they were going to do it, but now they are. Even that would have been a little more excusable. But they watched as these psychos stormed the Capitol, got into the building. Some of them died. Some cops died. And then five hours after all that, they're like, oh, hey, yeah, um, pff, crazy day. Uh, they want to kill you. So you may want to watch out. Bring them all in. Bring them all in in front of the House of Representatives. Make them answer for this. Every one of them. All of the officers on these emails make them explain why they failed in the literally one friggin' job that they had to do. That's what needs to happen at this point. Get rid of all the bad ones. And I don't care if that means every agent is gone. These people can't be trusted. 
and they shouldn't have these jobs anymore either. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.